Zombie Band People online are wondering if this is a rock band full of zombies. Shared by YouTube channel EXTV, this video is currently trending in the Brazilian YouTube community. Watch her come to life. The act continues for several minutes. She grows more enraged by the music, but then seems to get rather into it. If you're worried about your brains being eaten, never fear. The Walking Dead is not among us, at least not in this case. I tracked down the original source to the Instagram account of horror artist Corey Deanne Cowley. Well, I guess this mystery is solved. That won't help with my nightmares. Although this is a stage performance, I think most of us will admit that real zombies wouldn't be a welcome addition to a heavy metal concert, no matter how emo we are. Number 3. Devil's Cave YouTuber Eder Hernandez and his crew are about to enter the Devil's Cave, and what they will witness here may change them forever. The guys seem rattled as they approach the cave, and you'll see they have reason to be. Let's take another look at what they saw. It looks like a faceless being. As they rush away through the jungle, they catch another creature in their purview. Did you see that? Here it is again, slowly this time. There is definitely a figure standing there, but is it the devil? A third capture seems to blur the lines even more. What are these figures? I'm not sure if they're demons, skinwalkers, or the devil himself, but whatever they are, I know I don't want to get a closer look. Number 12. Tyler Rowe works in a grocery store with a freezer that he and all of his co-workers are sure is haunted. First, it starts with these strange noises, almost like someone is trying to kick their way out. <laughs> The kicking noises grow more intense until finally, at 9.02 a.m., this always happens without fail. This time, Tyler is determined to get to the bottom of it. He bravely marches in and documents that absolutely nobody is inside the freezer. Watch this part and let me know if you can see anyone because I didn't. Is there a light in here? And there's nothing in here. There's nothing, nobody, anything. It's just open. I can't help but suspect that a past employee somehow got locked in the freezer one morning and did not make it. Now they are trapped in spirit, kicking the door much like they did in their final hours on Earth. If someone can give me a mechanical explanation of why the door would burst open by itself at 9 in the morning every day, I would believe otherwise. The Floridian Palace Hotel is a historic gem, but it's believed to be haunted. I've stayed there myself and it definitely has a haunted vibe. Redditor CT Guerrero captured this haunting proof on camera during a daytime visit. So guys, just have a little bit of a walkthrough. It's 
kind of getting some hot spots in here a little while ago. Let's see what's what happens. Is anybody in here with me? Okay. While these specters may be the windows, as the Redditor suggests, I'd consider they might also be one of the many spirits said to haunt the place. What do you think is going on here? It's not me, but it looks like somebody's standing <laughs> there. that window. Oh my. I'm gonna back up. Um, hi. Still here? Ghost Adrift, are you convinced this is a ghost? Captured at 2 a.m. on Redditor Mermaids Have Wi Fi's friend's grandparents' ring camera. This one has me guessing. The semi-transparent figure passes by, walking slowly across the front lawn. Its upper half seems to disappear as it continues past. Some think it's just a camera glitch, others think it's concerning. Take a closer look and see for yourself. The Redditor doesn't believe this is a ghost. Her friend is convinced it is, and she wanted to disprove it with Reddit's help. Are these Reddit comments convincing enough? I've got to admit, this does look like a slow shutter speed situation creating ghosting artifacts. But frankly, if I were these homeowners, I'd rather this be a ghost than an actual human on my property. Number 10. This entry is a poltergeist three-parter. The first clip was published by Adam in November of 2021. It shows a cabinet with a mind of its own. One of the drawers opens repeatedly, slamming closed each time. Next, an object falls from above, knocking a picture frame and another object to the floor. But these poltergeists are just getting started. In the second clip, published in October of 2021 by Weird in the Bizarro News, a soda can on the counter moves ever so slightly. It later slides across the counter and twirls all the way down. Then it begins to jump up and down. Another creepy clip shows a computer lab with a couple of office chairs acting on their own. They wheel around the lab, twirling, and then really launching across the floor. If these clips weren't caught on camera, would you believe they happened? This video evidence seems to prove that no matter how much we think we know, we do not know everything. If you've heard wailing in an abandoned building, would you investigate? Published in April of 2021, these adventurers soon find they're not alone after all. While well, in a stairwell, they hear a sound upstairs and chase it down. They find no one in the hallway, but do find this strange barrier blocking their path. Dad. They ignore it and continue forward. After searching for a time, someone comes racing out of one of the rooms. They chase the figure, but when they get up the next flight of stairs, he has disappeared. After searching this floor for a while to no avail, they hear this voice. Where is it coming from, and whose is it? Though they attempt to chase it down, they never do find out. So I guess for now, it will remain a mystery. A strange creature was spotted in the darkness of this homeowner's backyard, shared by TikToker Canadian Babe Forever. At first, you can only hear it. The noise is subtle, but then grows louder. It sounds like something on the brink of passing away. Then it gives one last wailing rattle, and you can see something peek over the fence. What was that thing? Those hiding in the comments have their theories.
I agree with Jose. This has Skinwalker written all over it. In the basement of an old house, the ghosts of some missing girls visit YouTuber Dennis from Dark Life. First, he hears light tapping from the next room. But as he gets closer to the wardrobe, this happens. Have the missing girls been found? I think their spirits have, and it seems they have a story to tell. Mackie and Amanda are about to enter the most haunted place in Orange County. While exploring the house, they hear strange noises. One of their paranormal devices goes off, and at the same time, they hear something in the distance. So if anyone's coming... While they're searching in the bathroom, this happens. Did someone just make a noise in here? What is that? What is that? No, I can hear it behind me though. It almost sounds like. I don't even know. A whisper is heard. Are you always gonna say if any spirits are up here with you? Whisper, did it not? Yeah, it sounded like something. And then footsteps. What? There's like so many noises and stuff happening, and you just got <gasps> Something just touched the bear. What is happening? The bear continues to be paranormally activated. Yeah, maybe we should move the music box down to closer to her room so that it can catch up. <gasps> it picked up. And then they notice something. What the? Just like an ambulance. Like the doctor? Like yes. Like yes. Is this one of the doctor's unfortunate patients? I think it might be. And I think they passed away with unfinished business. Hill House, called the Real Exorcist House. The Hinsdale house has been explored by a laundry list of paranormal professionals. Add YouTuber exploring with Angelo to that list. While using a Ouija board with Jasco, they land on a message they don't want to receive. Z A L something. Oh no 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 no! Put this what? to go goodbye goodbye. What does that mean? Oh no no I don't no even no! Know no. What, that, what does that mean? A Z A I I get it now. A Z A Z E L Azazel Azazel. Oh. A demon. Oh. A moment later, Angelo starts feeling lightheaded, while Jasco starts feeling something else. Yo. Really lightheaded all of a sudden. What's going on? Dude, it literally feels like something is just holding my arm right now. Like, dude, your hairs are like. St Standing up. Look at that. It literally, what the hell? It's like bro, static. Look, look at my, it, it, you can literally see a marker yeah. like something literally around my hand right now. The tingling lasts for a long time, and Jasko thinks a change of scenery will help. Okay, yeah, I need, I'm gonna go outside. I need yeah. Some air. That's probably for the best. Holy cow, dude. Did a demon just enter and try to hold Jasko's hand? If so, I don't think Jasko should allow himself to be led anywhere. Azazel only wants one thing, to steal his soul. Number f A YouTube channel called Exploring with Felicity goes in search of a spirit called the White Lady of Lancashire, who is said to be looking for her lost child. Felicity stands over her memorial, or rather her memorial stands over her, and she says the words which, according to legend, are meant to make the statue's eyes open. I stolen your baby.
This push from behind is probably real because you can hear someone laying hands on her before she takes a step forward. <gasps> Felicity feels dizzy and immediately regrets ever provoking the supernatural. The weather worsens and the wind picks up this wail, which sounds like a banshee more than an animal. Felicity heads down the trail with haste and finds out for herself that the legends are all real after all. A shadowy form glides across the trail and then disappears. It's too far away to see for certain whether this was a normal person or the lady herself, so we may never know for sure. It's not unusual for a radiator to make noise, but imagine this noise coming from behind your radiator. The original upload of this video was deleted, but was luckily saved by other YouTubers. The creature who's been living behind his radiator starts to rattle it and makes a squeaking noise, prompting the camera to peer behind it into the darkness. After several minutes of peering and not seeing, the camera seems to focus in on something more distinguishable. An eye at the bottom of the radiator appears. It doesn't look like a mouse eye or the eye of any other small rodent, but rather the eye of a human-like creature. The sound of a monkey erupts. Watch it if you're brave, but be ready to jump. A telephone pole goes down, leaving wires scattered across the road. Witnesses are calling police when somebody makes the curious mistake of walking up close for a better look. That's the whole point. It's all supposed to, I'm supposed to be around the electricity. I'm not exaggerating when I say a bolt of electricity could shoot through this line and strike him down. The wire he steps over at 14 seconds is the same wire shown here at 6 seconds still connected to the pole. This person should be nowhere near the area. Downed power lines are extremely hazardous because they can still be active and there's no way to tell until it's too late. He's extremely lucky he's alive and I'm surprised nobody in these cars were shouting at him to get back. If you see a situation like this, never do what this person does or it could be your last moments on earth. Is this a poltergeist or faulty wiring? Redditor Raynoke wants to know. Let's see what you think. So I'm not really sure uh, what's causing this. That's a break room right there. It flickers on and off constantly. There's a lot of motion sensors in these rooms. The office that it's adjacent to. He captures the activity again. There it goes off again. It's very random, so leads me to believe that something is going on in there. This time, the light doesn't return for a while. As he walks toward it to check out what's up, it turns on again. Okay, there we go. When I walk in here, the lights are going to turn off in here as well. Turn on, I mean. Is there something in this break room? I'm not sure with this one. Faulty wiring is just as plausible as poltergeist activity. This scary home CCTV video shows why you should never leave your cooking unattended. Less than a minute, their entire countertop is covered in flames. The wife makes the mistake of trying to grab the flaming pot barehanded to put it in the oven and only sends a cascade of flames to the floor. But it's the husband who makes the ultimate mistake. He throws water on the flames, which is not what you do in a grease fire because this only makes the grease splash and spread the flames around. Everyone is okay and the fire goes out, but this method could have seriously burnt the house down. From what I've read, he could have put something large over the fire. Smothering it deprives the flames of oxygen and makes them go out. 
That fire was already really big though, so I don't know what he could have covered it with. To me, this video is a good example of why you should always have a fire extinguisher somewhere in your house and make sure you have it inspected from time to time to make sure it works. When something terrifying like this happens and you need it most, a creepy goat stands on two legs and stares ahead with beady black eyes. Reddit is trying to figure out if this is a statue or is this a live animal trained to be as scary as possible. Its eyes kind of look expressive here at 9 seconds and its ears somewhat move here, although that could just as easily be camera movement. Sighting Submitted to the Chills Narrator subreddit by Ramsey Rocks 2023 this redditor wrote, UFO over my yard in Kings Mountain, North Carolina. My neighbor called me over as I was out walking my dog and he was filming this. It made no sound. You can hear him talking in the background. He handed me the phone because he was shaking so hard. Traffic went by on the road as if we were the only ones who saw this. Let's watch their submission and see what they're talking about. Okay, what the f I don't have them. Okay, gang, I don't know what I'm looking at here. This is in the, over the trees in my backyard right now. You can, you can hear the crickets and stuff, the cars going by. What the f is that? Holy sh there was certainly a wide array of opinions about this video in the comments. It's just hearsay wrote, nice footage, while other alternative 75 wrote, those are Elon Musk's SpaceX satellites. Which side are you on here? Unidentified flying object or satellite? Let me know in the comments. Number 3. Who's sitting in this chair? YouTuber Mods Gaming captured a ghost of rock and on camera. Watch the rocking chair. I think the chair rocks too purposefully and for too long to have been knocked before starting to record. I also don't see any fishing line or something else that could debunk this. It looks to me like someone is sitting in the chair, actively rocking it back and forth. My guess is it's grandma. Come back to visit. Parsnips and Parsimony is a wholesome family vlog, YouTube channel, and not where you'd normally think to go to get your daily dose of horror. But in one vlog, they encounter something on their window that's pitch black and looks full of pus. I think the bottom might be moving during these two scenes, but it could also be the shaky camera. And I have no idea what it is. Um, that is what it looks like. Anyway, they decide the only way to diagnose this find is to slice it open, but no answer lays in its oozing black insides. Is this a plant, animal, alien, or what? If you remove mold or something for a living, let me know what's going on here. The foreign substance breaks into slimy black clumps with no shape and no smell, or at least none they remark on. To this day, they have no idea if this was mold or not, and describe it only as a slimy something. If this is what the mold growing on the outside looks like, imagine what's on the other side of the walls. While streaming live at a New Orleans graveyard at night on February 8th, 2020, Franco TV encounters not the undead, but the living. In the beginning, he describes his first encounter with a man in the graveyard, explaining that he'd been warned that thieves in New Orleans like to come after people who explore the city's graveyards at night. He said he'd encountered this man twice already in this episode, explaining that the man was on foot, had a book bag and approached him, passed him, and then circled around while he was outside of his car walking through the mausoleum. He feels a bit shaky from this encounter and says he doesn't know if he's going to exit his vehicle again, but he follows his audience's risky advice and does anyway. As Franco is out, walking around the creepy stone grave solo, he starts to feel unsafe again and after a time returns to his car. He is examining an above ground crypt from his vehicle when he hears some footsteps. He continues to drive around the cemetery saying he heard something from behind his car that sounded like a knocking. He says he can't get out of his car again because he thinks someone else is there. In fact, there he is. 
After turning around, Franco zooms in on a man walking toward him down the cemetery road. What is this man doing in a graveyard at night? Is he too live streaming for YouTube? It certainly doesn't look like it. Franco doesn't know what to do but continue to drive, passing the guy seemingly without issue. He speeds up, getting out of the graveyard as quickly as possible. As he tries to find the exit, he says the man was literally chasing after his car. He says he felt the man hit the back of it, and as he flees, explains that he must get out of there and find a safe place. He then warns viewers not to enter a New Orleans graveyard at night, as if we needed any warning after watching this. Mr. Biggs is a giant iguana who is not behaving normally. He hardly recognizes his owner upon entering his room. And yes, Mr. Biggs does happen to have his own room. Um. See, there he is. He tried to bite me. The large lizard fits a single finger squarely in his mouth and clamps down, but a closer look reveals it's actually just an empty glove at the end of a ruler. As it turns out, Mr. Biggs was just hungry and not trying to take over. He might have even mistaken the glove for a big hunk of lettuce. Look at him here at 3 minutes and 7 seconds. You would never have expected this could be the same Mr. Biggs as before. Yeah, he doesn't even care. Can wrangle him up. Ohm Vlogs has set up a camera at this junction in the middle of the night. What he sees there calls up plenty of questions, and they're without answers. First, he sees this figure walking across the grounds. <sighs> ये पेड़ के पास ये देखो ये कोई लगा मुझे पता नहीं उस पेड़ के पास करके एंड He then sees this figure in red. It's not clear if it's the same person in the security footage. It looks like he lights a candle, maybe for prayer or some other ritual. But it's when this next figure enters the picture that things get really creepy. After a while, she sits on the ground with her flame. When the witch leaves, he heads over to check out what she was burning, and then he finds her. Later, the camera captures her again, crossing the same junction. and he finds this burning. The vlogger thinks this is a witch, performing some type of ritual. I agree that he's probably right. I can't find any other explanation for her movements at night. I'm not sure what she's doing exactly, whether it's good or evil, but I do find it fascinating. While sitting around playing video games, little did this guy know he was about to be in one. Published by C. Sano Act in November of 2011, this guy was hanging out in the living room when he heard something from the kitchen. Getting up to check it out, he doesn't seem to see anything of substance, but something of substance knocks him to the floor. He's dragged across the room and out of sight. Is this ghost hinting that he should get his homework done? Or does this house have a serious poltergeist in residence? It'd be hard to ignore after an incident like this. If you've ever wondered whether or not exorcisms are real, here is your answer. Published to YouTube in April of 2020, 
The supposedly possessed woman in the video is making hissing and rasping noises as her exorcist lays a hand on her. Another young man holds her wrists. She opens her mouth like a snake, ready to strike, while she continues to hiss and rasp at them. In a second clip, her expression appears almost normal for a moment, but a second later, her eyes roll into the back of her head, and she hisses strangely, arching her back until her body is up from the couch. Before slumping over, like the demon has left her. You may be skeptical about possessions, but this woman does not look like she is acting. We can only hope the demon did leave and is gone for good. YouTube team Procura Sobrenatural is exploring this haunted house. When they encounter something cryptic, see if you can spot it. Okay. Okay. A dark figure appears in the next room. It's unclear if it's escaping them or watching them. Later, they hear a sharp snapping noise. It's hard to tell what that is. Maybe a shot from a pellet gun? Did this sound come from the dark figure we saw slinking away? I think it's quite possible, which makes me question whether that was a shadow figure or something alive. Do mirrors reflect reality? Or could they be portals to another world? Published by Augustina Davia in July of 2021, this creepy clip has me wondering if this is real or an optical illusion. In the video, Augustina is speaking with some guitarists on a video chat platform called Omegle. As she's chatting with the guys, something unnerving is happening in the mirror behind her. Take a closer look. The closet mirror reflects a dark shape sitting on Augustina's bed. You can also see a dark shape over her shoulder on her bed. You'd assume this was the thing being reflected, only the shape in the mirror is not an accurate reflection of the object on the bed. The item on her bed, which appears to be a piece of clothing lying on its side, doesn't match the object in the mirror, which is sat up and alert. Is the object in the mirror actually out of view behind her? But then again, if that's the case, why isn't the object on the bed positioned sideways, reflected at all? Is this an optical illusion? The more you stare at this, the less sense it makes. Who knows what is watching in the darkness? This YouTuber may have captured a spirit stalking him in this graveyard. Watch to the right of the tree. Watched at a slower speed, you can definitely see a figure peeking out at the driver. It's unclear what the figure is. It's even unclear if it's human or post-human. But this one looks legit to me. And if I were this YouTuber, I'd get out of that graveyard ASAP. Who knows what is watching him? Or why? A YouTuber named Yara records herself singing in her room when a visitor approaches. Or maybe it's just the sound of her tablet getting put down. You wanna say? She looks down the hallway. You wanna say? It looks like a lock gets popped, but no doors open. There are no footsteps, no one says hello, and then... <laughs> Yara claims she saw a demon, but that's a lot for me to believe without the physical proof. I will say that those two noises were awfully odd, and it didn't sound like anyone else was with her before they occurred. YouTube team Mackie and Amanda visit the most haunted hotel in Virginia City, the Silver Queen Hotel, and the haunting starts right away. As they're discussing matters, a creepy whisper is heard. I had a whole thing worked out in my head, and it's just gonna shit fell. It's okay, go ahead, it's free It's okay, go ahead, it's free I am so excited. While they're getting stuff ready, another whisper is heard. It's definitely sort of moving again.
they arrange a REM pod in the bathtub, which is where a ghost named Rosie is said to appear. It's instantly triggered. Perfect. Okay, Rosie. Rosie, did she just touch me? Did she? She does not step away. As they're considering that Rosie's name may actually be Julie, they hear another whisper. Julie is her name. Is that... Is, I wish we had another... Did you hear that whisper? Yeah. This time, they hear the whisper in the moment, and later, they hear footsteps and a distinctive knock. It's Amanda. Although her feet seem to be dragging, Rosie likes it here. Well, they're vulnerable. Is that true? Especially, I like it here. Especially with people here. I like it here. They try to speak to Rosie through the REM pod. You were pretty upset earlier, and. We said that we would turn this on and ask you why. Can you make that stop? Is Rosie confirming that she was upset? Later in the hallway, they hear a distant scream. They better not. Oh. They better not. Oh. They better not. And one last whisper to send chills down your spine. I don't know. Is Rosie following Mackie and Amanda around the Silver Queen? It seems like it to me. And after they disturbed her bathtub soak, I don't think they'll be able to get rid of her anytime soon. A Reddit user named Miss Doolittle Tex posted some really creepy things caught on camera for the Chills Narrator subreddit to analyze. A man with shifty eyes and an odd expression walks to her front door and doesn't ring it, just stands there confused. He thinks about doing who knows what next and then decides against it. He leaves her door but not her property, going on to walk around the perimeter and crossing into a neighbor's backyard without permission. He returns a short while later, running away and full of energy. Only he knows what he did for sure or how bad it was. Miss Doolittle Tex calls the police to make a report, and based on this video evidence, I think she was absolutely in the right to do so. There's no reason for him to be creeping around like that, and it's good to get everything documented early, in case things get even weirder in the future. Besides, I would want my neighbor to look out for me in the same way as I do for them. There's a Redditor who's been posting clips of their encounters with the paranormal to my subreddit for over a year now. They go by Paranormal Gems and I thought we could watch some of their most popular submissions. There's certainly plenty to choose from. This one is titled, Confederate Ghost Caught on Camera While Hiking on Pilot Mountain, North Carolina. That's not, that one's poisonous. Is it really? That one. Oh, oh, there's more than one of them, huh? Mm -hmm. This one is titled, Seems Our Lego Ghost Likes Playing With My Granddaughter's Desk. Notice if you slow it down, the orbs fly from and to the connect image. This one is titled, The ghost in our house is always moving my Lego collection around. I caught this with my cell phone. Watch under the glass coffee table and under the Ziploc baggie next to the Legos. Something reaches out several times and touch the toys. I'm a little freaked. This one is titled, My EMF starts going off so I point my phone in the direction. Happens often.
This one is titled, I came home and my cellar door was wide open. I always keep it closed, so I thought someone was in my cellar, but I was too afraid to go in and look, so I used my camera to try and see into the dark. I slowed the video. That is not a moth you see at first. Keep watching and zoom in. That was just five of their most popular submissions. There's still many other paranormal encounters they've posted as well. What do you think is going on here? Are spirits just attaching themselves to paranormal gems? Or do you think there is another explanation here? Let me know in the comments. Did this drone footage capture a spirit manifestation on camera? Or is this just a reflection? Redditor Staffordshire PE had investigated this old Welsh hotel and, after experiencing a very active night, returned to capture some some drone shots. That's when they saw this. See if you can spot it. Did you see it? Here it is up close. It does look like something semi-transparent flies past the third window to the left. Most in the comments agree that it's a reflection, but others think it's strange that the reflection appears to move while the drone is stationary. Others are saying there doesn't appear to even be a window pane in the broken window. So what do you think? It does look like a reflection to me, but I'd rather believe it's Casper the Friendly Ghost. A family CCTV camera captured this mysterious creature outside their home. It looks to me like a little goblin. It's creeping, hunched over movement is unnerving. It doesn't do anything remarkable, but skulks out of sight. Is it a rake? A house elf? I agree with Orlando. It definitely looks like this. Mikael Krosbergen is deep in a cave in the tropical country of Laos when he catches this incredibly large arachnid lurking on the stony grey wall. Mikael later describes this spider as being the size of a full-grown pizza. Its eyes are large enough to reflect light back into the camera like a cat, which is something I've never seen a bug's eyes do. Eventually, the creature scurries into the darkness with the speed of a professional sprinter, never to be seen by human eyes again. According to the description, they are sure that this is a giant huntsman spider, which apparently will bite on occasion. Tell me if you agree with their assessment and how you were able to tell for sure. While exploring the Mount Morris Mystery House, YouTubers Spirit Walk Paranormal tried to unlock the mystery. As one of the crew is explaining about the strange happenings in the house, something strange occurs right in front of them. The second girl disappeared completely. The second girl disappeared completely. And then another one. While I'm talking to the guys, a strange anomaly appears in the top left corner of the frame and moves right in a strange manner. I don't think this is an insect because of the transparency and dust normally shows up in a sphere-like shape, but I cannot claim this as paranormal. I'd say that was probably dust, but some things are harder to explain and more strange noises are heard. Can you touch this, please? The spirits apparently want to imprison them. 
Maybe so that they will have someone to talk to. What does this spirit want? It wants its presence to be known. Here. There you are. Are you on my back right now? Can you get off? Can you get off, please? But it also seems to be guiding them to something, or to someone. Can you come into this room? Or maybe it's warning them. Are you trying to get our attention to the attic? Although some of these EVPs are a bit of a stretch, I think, others seem very distinct, I do think something is trying to communicate with the paranormal team in Mount Morris Mystery House, but who or for what reason is anyone's guess? A man finds himself trapped on the 30th floor of the Shinjuku Center building in Tokyo after the entire city was rocked by a 9.1 quake. Now nowhere is safe and there is nothing left to do except to record as doors and cabinets swing open uncontrollably and the entire building shakes. Oh! Everything grows eerily silent, and then this voice cuts through the speakers. There is a lot of frantic chatter in the background, so I think it was a live broadcast, not a recording. Try and translate if you can, because if you were there, your life may have very well have depended on following these instructions. <laughs> After a while, the speakers turn off, and the guest hopelessly watches as the buildings sway like trees. It's kind of hard to see what I'm talking about, because the building he's in is shaking too. This second video, taken near the top floor of the Shinjuku Center building, shows how bad the shaking really was. The buildings look like they are going to topple at any moment, but they are actually designed to be incredibly flexible and can withstand intense vibrations. Keep in mind that these are just the smaller aftershocks and not the actual quake itself, which was, believe it or not, much worse. Can a person passing away stop the clocks? This video posted by LMonkA7X to the Ghosts subreddit calls that into question. Monk explains in the comments that his partner was working the night shift at the hospital when a patient passed at 3.11 a.m. Porters arrived to transport the body around 45 minutes later. Not long after, a nurse was logging the passing in the computer when she observed a clock's hand spinning rapidly. The passing was logged into the computer at 4.10 a.m. and a minute later the clock stopped spinning at 4.11 a.m exactly an hour after the man's passing. While Monk admits to ordinarily being a skeptic, his partner's reaction to what happened, as well as everyone else's in the ward, convinced him that this was no practical joke, this was real. All who paid witness to the odd timing were shaken up over it. Being that the clock is analog and not digital, Monk suggests it's strange that the clock stopped on the exact right time of day after going berserk. He also believes that the whole thing was paranormal, being that the clock's actions coincided with the passing of the patient and the processes surrounding it. What do you think? Coincidence or not? The people of Reddit are on both sides of the fence. Either way, the timing couldn't have been creepier. Michael Jackson may have made a spirited cameo in YouTuber Kelsey Davies' adventure in the Forest Lawn Cemetery. Accompanied by Omar Gosh TV, Kelsey enters the Los Angeles Cemetery, where the King of Pop was laid to rest in 2009. Drawn to over here, like I just felt like I needed to look on these walls, and all of a sudden, you find Margaret. Which is so creepy. This is what happened during the team's visit. 
Chris Brown. Are you, are you here, Michael? Is Michael Jack? Have you met him? Do you know if Michael Jackson's here? After that, Michael began to make music. Is there someone here with us? Using dousing rods to communicate, Kelsey gets a reading. It's moving a lot. Look. Oh. Did it. Are you the? Yeah. I'm so curious. While continuing to speak to Margaret, she confirms that the spirit is not related to Michael. Hey, I got a question for Margaret. Are you related to Michael Jackson? Does that mean no? No. Okay. Kelsey then really starts to become one with Michael. My heart hurts. Oh. Like a heart attack, this person. How did Michael die? I know Heart failure. Heart failure? Cardiac arrest. That was his that was that, that was his cause. Of and at last, Michael reveals himself. Is this person here, is your name Michael? Can you cross the dowsing rods in my hand for yes and open them for no? They are not alone. Ooh. It turns out something else is here. Are you Michael Jackson? Oh, it is. Does Michael have company? <gasps> Are you a demon? Maybe he's playing out Thriller in the afterlife. Al is quietly doing homework at the living room coffee table, but something in the room doesn't want to keep the peace. This creepy clip was published by Adit and Anika in May of 2021. According to the video's timestamp, the footage was originally captured nearly two decades ago at around 1.40 p.m. on April 13, 2001. A child is writing. A cupboard door on the entertainment center flies open. The little girl doesn't seem too rattled by it. Perhaps she is used to strange poltergeist activity in her home. She walks calmly over to shut it and sits back down to her homework, but the energy in the room isn't done harassing her. Two of the doors pop open simultaneously. One of them closes on its own, while the girl closes the other. Again, she doesn't appear surprised by the incident and studiously heads back over to return to her work. That's when the poltergeist decides to shock her once and for all. The coffee table moves on its own, rolling across the floor. At this, the girl screams and races out of the room. For the ghost, mission accomplished. At least she'll have a real excuse for not finishing her home. Thank you so much for getting me to 50,000 subscribers here on my Clips channel. If you want to support, please press that subscribe button. Let's get to 60,000 subscribers next. Thank you.